Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yes, we're painting again. And I'm just messing around on the uh, computer here, just practicing really. I'm doing uh, these people on here and I thought I'll do a quick video on how I tend to paint people, whether it's with uh, oils, acrylics, watercolors, whatever. Or on the computer, it doesn't really matter. The system is the same. <laughs> and this is what I tend to do. Um, I'm just doing a sketch here, really, just for practice. But I can, uh, what I look for is the basic shapes, like there, the square of this person, and then the triangle there of the uh, material. I'll just do a better color so you can see this better. So let's go for a different color. Yeah, we'll see that. So I go for the there's a square. Why has that done it? And there's a square there. So I go I go in for this square, and then there's a triangle here. There's a another another triangle really there for the uh, arm. And then there's a head, and there's a square. And uh, I tend to look for these sort of things when I'm just sketching away, having fun, just practicing. Because that's what I'm doing, I'm just practicing really. And I find uh, by doing this sort of thing, practicing on Photoshop. It um, actually makes me better as a painter with paints because um, I'm practicing uh, improving my eye to look at the stuff really. So that's, that's really what I'm doing. I'm practicing. I don't know why that went over there. Anyway, there's the square sort of shape. Rectangle shape, I mean. <laughs> there's the triangle, uh, there's the material. And there's a triangle there uh, as well, isn't there? Just block that in. I tend to block stuff in dark. Block it in dark, and then I'll go for like a. Uh, A light, go for a light color for the highlights. Then I find if you do it quite dark, you can really improve the look of it. And I, to be honest, when I'm painting as well, I don't use that many versions of a color. You can kind of get away with four, maybe. Like I've got this one as my base. This is going to be number two. So this is sort of the middle kind of tone. And you can go for a darker, darker one. And then uh, a little lighter. Can kind of bring it all together then. Something like that. I'm not going to be uh, hugely accurate. One thing I find when you're uh, just practicing the sketching, 
try to keep things simple and flowing because uh, it's very easy to get bogged down with details. Details, details, details. It's a, a problem is the is that because you don't want to be uh, Don't get bogged down too much. It's looking quite good. This uh, yellow color to create the hair shape. Might change it a little bit on mine. It's more of that color, that side of the hair. I'm always trying to look for just a few. A few colours and a few brush strokes just to tell the story of what we're seeing. Sort of thinking about the uh, the body shape as well is important underneath. I think that's not, not bad. It's not bad, is it? I'll go with that for now anyway. I might need just making a bit bigger. I've loosely painted in uh, a couple of the other characters and I thought, oh, I could make a video on this while I'm uh, playing around. Oh, well, there's a can there. <laughs> Let's see if we can uh, throw this can in. Zip. So I always am at the well at the moment. I say always. I don't always. I'm picking colours at the moment using this picker. This isn't really a Photoshop uh, training video or anything, but I'll try and show you a few bits of what what I do anyway. I quite enjoy painting on the computer. If you've not done it, it's actually really good fun. Once you get used to the, uh, the tools, it's good fun. Yes, I can. There's a, uh, there's a person over here behind that car. And I quite like the person, but I don't really like the car. <laughs> Don't want the car there. You also need to improve this woman here, just to uh, make it look like she's sat on the wall a bit better. Just think of the anatomy of the person sat there. That looks a bit better, doesn't it? Quite like that. <laughs> Look at this little guy here. <laughs> that looks really funny. Uh, that was a bit of an accident. 
of that area of the photo. I could crop that and have like a borrower on his shoulder. <laughs> so I'm going to paint this woman in without the car. Let's sir, put her hair in first. Let's see. She's almost in line, a bit taller. About there. So I can know where her hair is. Of course, I'm just really doing a circle and then adding the little waves, little changes of colour. Keeping it simple, not too much, because it's just a sketch. Don't go crazy, Jason. And the, uh, the body warmer. So I tend to paint a lot of the time on the computer, like I'm painting on the piece of paper or on a canvas or whatever. I don't really do much different in a way. I don't use the tools as probably as much as you could do. Because I'm 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 a painter, so <laughs> I enjoy doing the painting. So I don't really need to use any of the each other of the tools really. Let's put a bag on her shoulder. Might use a little bit of that colour as well. A bit of light coming across here. Oh, I love putting in that those bits of light. I really enjoy those little hints of light. It's just just makes a picture. <laughs> it is really enjoyable, isn't it? Doing those little highlights. Um, guess where the arms are, can't we? Could just create them. Maybe the, she's got them in front of him. Maybe she's holding something. I don't know. Could just about see the arms. She might have her elbows in there. So maybe her elbow finishes there. So maybe this one could be like that. We could use that same colour, maybe she's wearing jeans. Maybe she's actually sat on the wall as well, actually. And that extra highlight there. I mean, you can if you want. Something I do sometimes is I'll uh, use a little bit of the sky and then reflect that down. You can do that sometimes as well, but I quite like that, the way that's looking. Sometimes I do this, I'll just show you. Get this blue, a, a nice, a nice blue, something like that, and then maybe in the uh, areas that isn't getting light but it's getting a bit of maybe get oh, that's not very blue yeah more like that I would have something like that and I could have ref reflected light from the sky on areas if I wanted to in the shadow areas not there and maybe there maybe on this guy you could have it there and maybe there but I'm not, I'm not going to do it on this one 
So let's uh I like that. <laughs> Might do those little that little box there. But yeah, at the moment I've got my oil paints almost at the ready. Because I'm gonna start doing some other painting oil paintings again. I've done quite a lot of acrylic paintings. I'm feeling like a a change again. Hopefully you'll be interested in something like that. I'm gonna do all sorts like still lives and landscapes and things. There's a calico there. No, I, what I like doing is something like that, and then almost does it really need anything else? More red on it, maybe. There's a can of coke. I like uh, like it when you can just do something simple. Yeah, I quite like that. Now I'm going to uh, do this guy, show you the, how I would tackle that, whether, whether I'm doing you know this or regular painting, I would uh, look for that angle again, see this angle here, it's almost, it's almost, I would go, it's almost, you know, we've got that triangle there, it's a triangle there, except it's cut off here. And then the legs. So you'd think like that. Is that what I tend to go so simple these days? I used to make things so complicated for myself. <laughs> I remember when I was out, and it, and it is from plain air painting. The reason I've got better at this actually is uh, I would be so fixated on detail. Uh, and honestly, detail is you know useful. It can make something look really cool, and then someone looks at your picture and goes, "Oh, that looks like a photo." <laughs> so you know, detail is good, but detail can destroy you when you're trying to do a plain air painting. And I found from doing a lot of plain air painting it totally changed me as a painter because you're uh, battling against light and and time and, and all sorts of bugs <laughs> trying to keep this uh, light simple on there cut off this shape I use the uh, the lasso tool to do stuff like that, just to cut shape off. I like the light on his face there. The back of the neck there. The head shape. things nice and simple that shape there so this is good for uh, when you're practicing for doing a painting there's somewhat like this this shape of his head it's quite hard really when you're uh, doing a painting I do find it useful to uh, get rid of the problems before you start so sometimes if it's a hard looking painting I'll try and paint it on the computer first 
not sure why I've done that head so massive. But you, yeah, do try and do it on the computer first, and then you can. Uh, Go ahead and paint it. I just I find that makes things a little bit easier for me. Try and use everything that I've got really to to get a decent picture. If I have to practice it a couple of times on the computer first before I paint it, I'm, that's all right by me. I don't mind doing that. It's looking pretty good. This earring. It's a nice glimpse of red. You can see his eye about there. His nose about there. Yeah, that's quite good. And then the the, the trousers. chopping bits out that I don't need. Keeping it loose still though. Look at those little details like his watch on there. His hand there, and then his legs go out there. I think my the back of him on my uh, one is a bit more exaggerated, but don't mind that actually. Well, I'll add these lines as well. I do a couple of extra ones. This is what I like about them as they're heading towards her. So he's looking at her. I quite like that. And then uh, what I might do, just to make this look a bit better, I've got the uh, wall. And I've got a clipping mask on the wall. So what I want to do is sort of. Uh, Send this part downwards, so that part that was the flat bit. And then 
dark this bit. Just adding some bits of detail in there. Also do a little uh, down there. Something like that makes it look a little bit better anyway. I quite like this guy. Uh, let's do him now. So if I was I'll do a rectangle that kind of goes like this. It's kind of a rectangle like this. Yeah. So uh I'll do that rectangle. There's a bit of a triangle type thing there. When I was in the uh, train station, I was uh, sketching people. But I was trying to do the ones that were on the move, not the ones that are just sat there. And uh, that, that's quite a good little exercise to do. Really difficult though. But a good exercise. I think uh, going out with a sketchbook and paints, or even like you could do the, do it with the computer, couldn't you? If you had like a a Mac or something, or a, uh, a tablet that you can draw on. I've got one actually that I can do that on, but I can't record at the same time, which is annoying because I wanted to do videos doing that. I might still do it eventually. I'll need to upgrade my uh, tablet somehow. <laughs> so expensive though, aren't they? But anyway, um, yeah, so what about black be it there and then uh, the head I'll use that one colour to get his head in there I need to move him away from that bloke because uh, he's going to end up eating his fish and chips otherwise <laughs> I have to move him away a bit Which I could do with moving everyone else away, really. Move him there. We are right there. So, got that bit of light on his head. Just need to shrink that a little bit. So I'm, I'm quite loose. I'm not doing uh, extreme detail or anything. Obviously, doing doing this like I would be painting outside. 
this is how I try and do a lot of my artwork now I think because I want to do better when I'm plein air painting I'm always thinking about do imagine if I was doing it out there oh what have I done here oops I've gone on the wrong thing didn't want that anyway Using I prefer the lasso tool, just get rid of that and I'll paint over again. So simple, isn't it? But it's amazing how, like, a few strokes of colour or a few, like, little nudges here and there of something can make all the difference. <laughs> Still amazes me about painting really. When I first started painting I was so like <laughs> I don't know, you just, you just surprise at yourself when you think about what it was like. I was I did just didn't know that you shouldn't be so into detail to get things down and without worrying too much is a better way than messing around trying to get someone's eye looking right when you've got the nose out in the wrong place anyway <laughs> it's funny isn't it funny how you change the more more paintings you do the more you just change as an artist you start looking at things differently what if he's got a burger there I wonder if she's got a burger as well has he got chips on his lap didn't notice that. Just put that there. Put paper there. Bit of paper here. Making me hungry now, thinking about what they're eating. Grab his hand in the in the burger tray. Bring something in front maybe. Just so that looks a bit better. Something there as well. So I'm purposely not zooming in on anything because I don't want to be doing too much of the detail. I just want to get a loose picture of uh, the characters and uh, and then what I was going to do is uh, then I was going to get rid of this and then like that, and get rid of that, and then I was going to start playing with the uh, what's going to be above and I could make a decision whether I want um, it to be the coast or mountains or anything and I could have like they could all be like looking at some great mass of a hill or something not really sure Oh, I could have blue sky and have a seagull swooping down ready to take their chips or something kind of like that idea that'd look quite nice with a blue sky though come to think of it I 
imagine the blue sky as bright as that. I sort of swoop the blue in with that first so I could see a little bit of it and then uh, and I can go a bit lighter Good, I'll just sort of put that in together. And then what I can do is I can grab some of that and maybe I can have a little bit of a I can have some clouds. You can do all kinds of stuff with your, your painting, really. So I could do that, and then uh, I could start looking for colour and boosting colour and stuff if I wanted to. I quite like the idea of this being a bit stronger, to be honest. Let's go into the, uh, the background a bit. I'll leave that as it is, and I'll do it on the top. Doesn't that look better? Oh, nice. A bit more saturation in the colour. And then what I can do as well, do the same for this water. And that's going to make that look a bit nicer as well. Try it with and without, with, without, maybe a little less. Yeah, probably that. Uh, so I just dropped the opacity a little bit. So going back to the people, oh, I've added the sky accidentally. Um, I've noticed that this person, the top of his head's not there. <laughs> It's more like that. But that gives you an idea of how I create people, how I add people in. And this person's lost the top of their head as well. Just add that back. This is from the, it's from me rushing around there getting excited, doing the extra things. I can use that colour actually. Yeah, there's a few people there, you can add in a seagull. That's what I could do. So I'm thinking of, probably will do, add a like the idea of adding a little seagull stealing someone's chips there. A great big one. Well, I'll get some reference so I can see what seagulls look like again. <laughs> I can't remember. But I might have a seagull there or something. But anyway, I just wanted to have a little bit of fun, do some uh, 
painting on the computer and uh, hopefully you enjoyed that little bit that <laughs> you saw um, I did actually start record forget I actually forgot to start the recording and then I looked to see if my computer had crashed or not and it hadn't because <laughs> usually it crashes when I'm recording uh, on the computer but it hadn't and I was like oh no I forgot to press record <laughs> but anyway I hope you enjoyed what I uh, did record and uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more or if you're interested in other types of videos maybe oils, acrylics, watercolours, squash let me know and because uh, I'm going to start making some more videos thanks very much for watching this one and I'll see you at another one cheers bye